Man, I, I know I said this a million times, but counting down these fantasy playlists I've made 20, 30, 10 years ago, come across a lot of songs I'd forgotten about. I hadn't heard in years. I'm sure this song was played on MTV and also on VH1. Boy, an obscure REM song at number 32, up from 39 on my fantasy playlist, October 1st, 1992. Five, Tongue by R.E.M. I guess the title kind of says it all. I, I reckon the song is pretty suggestive. But uh, Michael Stipe, this, this group had versatility. Think about it. Think about R.E.M. Now, they put out about 19 albums, 19 studio, studio albums between 1983 through 2011. I remember their first single, Radio Free Europe. Summer of 1983, they were a new wave band. They had a hard, hard time. They were not embraced. It took them several years before they got embraced by Top 40 Radio. They could be very electric, and yet astonishingly, astonishingly commercial at times. And, well, Michael Stipe, lead singer, Approaching this song a bit differently, singing in a falsetto style, and uh, narration from the point of a view of a woman on this record. It sounds like kind of like it's haunting in a sense that it sounds like a 60s soul record, sort of. Tom by REM is from the album, and uh, bear with me, my notes are all over the place on this record, Monster, the album Monster. This album, it was their ninth studio album. It debuted at number one on Billboard's Hot 100. REM got so huge in the early to mid nineties they could abs there was a there was a time when they could do no wrong. After struggling the way they did to get airplay in the early eighties, they finally started to hit their stride in the late late eighties into the early nineties. And uh Trying to collect my thoughts on this group, on this song. The songs off this album, you might remember, I'm sure you remember, What's the Frequency, Frequency Kenneth? That was an early 95, Bang and Blame, and Strange Currencies, and we got Tom. Got that softness. It's just totally different from an art, from uh, some of their other material, R.E.M. It's an album produced by a guy named Scott Litt. L.I.T., Scott Litt. Uh... Before he worked with R.E.M., he started working with R.E.M. in the 80s. He had, in, he had worked with Carly Simon and Ion Hunter, and he's produced, uh, he co-produced uh, Green by R.E.M. and Automatic for the People by R.E.M. He co-produced that. And uh, he also just read that uh, Scott Litt, he remixed Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. And he also remixed All Apologies by Nirvana. Remember those two songs? I'll never forget something I want to share with you real quick. It was just that moment, a stellar moment. It seems like nothing, but you look back on it. Almost 25, 26, 27 years ago, 25 years ago, sitting at Arby's listening to Muzak, uh, their top 40 outlet hit line on Muzak, and late one night, Muzak had programmed two back-to-back -back songs by Nirvana. It was Come As You Are, going into All Apologies. God, that was like, yes, that was a moment. But anyway, uh, Scott Litt later produced albums by Incubus. At least their first two album, albums, Make Yourself a Member of Drive by Incubus, and Stellar, Stellar was Killer by Incubus. We're talking about 1999, 2000, and Morning View was another album that Scott Litt co-produced with Incubus, and you might remember Nice to Know You off that album. Well anyway, he co-produced this album by R.E.M. R.E.M. and Scott Litt produced the album Monster and it was a monster of an album, no doubt about it. One of the classic albums by R.E.M. And one other thing, don't quote me on this, but I got it from a source that the single of this song was only released in England. It was not released as a single here in the States. But it's single enough. <laughs> On my fantasy playlist, it's up to number 32 on the October 1st, 1995.